Hey there guys, it's Toby here with AQ, and uh, this episode, well, we're from Choice Fitness, yeah. Choice Network, Choice, rather. Choice Network, yeah. Well, this part is going to be Choice Entertainment, because yeah. we're going to be talking today about Majora's Mask. Yeah, Majora's Mask, which will be releasing soon on the 3DS. Yeah, the 3DS. It says spring, I've seen some dates varying from February all the way up to August. Yeah. Hopefully it'll come as soon as... Yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm just waiting for that. I mean, mm. it's it's something I'm, I'm, I'm very much anticipating. Oh yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm really excited for it. We've got the trailer here, so I just want to play the trailer. Hopefully it won't be too much dis- of a distraction, the mm. sound, but we just want to talk through the trailer. Now, it was announced on a Nintendo Direct, I believe, last week some, sometime. Right, right. Yeah. It's quite exciting. You wouldn't know from watching, coming spring 2015. exactly, yeah. You, oh. you wouldn't see from looking at that. I mean, that the fire sounds like a Zelda game. Yeah, so yeah definitely. It's does. a sort of giveaway. And that's the huge giveaway. And that is as well. Yeah. I know you can't see. You'll have to watch the trailer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Get get, get watching on the, that trailer. The, tra- the trailer is a bit. I I'm a bit lukewarm on the trailer. And there's the reveal of the clock. Now, if you've played Zelda Majora's Mask, you know that that clock and the sound is just. Mm. And that is just. Mm. It just explodes. Yeah. And then at that point, it's Majora's Mask. Yeah. And, to be truthful with you guys, I I played partial elements of the. Majora's Mask on the Nintendo 64, but um, I haven't played all of it, so I mean, um, uh, Toby, you know, uh, discussing this with myself, it, it's uh, getting me more kind of hyped up for the release of it coming out on TDS, so I'm uh, kind of more, g- getting more excited due to that I haven't played it properly, so it gets me anticipated to play it more when it comes out on the TDS. Oh yeah, definitely. The, the thing is with Majora's Mask is it's sort of seen as the dark horse in the Zelda series. It's, right, like, okay. it's like the black sheep boy of the, of the, right, of right, the right. series because you had Ocarina of Time, mm. which was the best game ever made. Yeah, yeah, I've been and, hearing that And it's lot. still one of the best games ever made. Right, right okay. Um, and then you had obviously the sequel, Majora's Mask, that came out about two years later, mm. and the graphics were superior, and it did a lot of different. Not that the graphics are that important, but it did a lot of things that were really, really cool and and innovative at the time, like the whole three day um, time. You had three days to basically save the world, or else the moon would crash in, and there was this impending doom of the of the of the moon. I was going to say the sun then, <laughs> the, the moon ca- crashing down. And destroying Terramina, I believe the, mm. the place is called. You're not in Hyrule anymore. Yeah. And uh, what was really cool as well is you had basically your item list, and then you had about 25, 30 different masks, and they all had special purposes. And then right. you had there was four masks that sort of did. You had the um, Deku mask, which turned you into a Deku. Yeah. Your yeah. special abilities. You had the Goron mask and the Zoro yeah. mask. Yeah. And then you had the fierce deity mask, which you use later on in the game. Yeah. That's to be honest with you, true. this is kind of new to me, so so it's getting me more interested as uh, as Toby, you know, explains it in a, in a great way. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 great to hear this, you know, being uh, introduced into this uh, new world. I mean, what what's good about this Zelda game is a lot of people, in particular my brother, he doesn't really like the temples, like the dungeons that much. He well, prefers okay. the exploration, he prefers doing the little side quests. Mm-hmm. Majora's Mask is pretty much half side quest, Quest, yeah. half, uh, half mm-hmm. level based, yeah, because yeah. There, are, there aren't actually that many levels, there's only, there's only four main dungeons, right, right. and then there's obviously all the side questy stuff. And you, you ha- sorry. Go on, go on as, you, as, you were, as you were talking. Uh, uh, I think it's called the the bullet book or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. The billiard book. I can't. It's yeah. probably not that at all. <laughs> it's this little book that these these like these little boys give you. Oh no! Okay. They, they're like part of this little clan, and it keeps um a, tr- a it keeps like check marked all the uh, side quests that you do. And I think there's like fifty side quests in the game. Wow. Okay. So there's a lot of content in there. And it, no, and that's good. I'm liking it's, that. It's probably one of the first games, especially on console, that I can remember that actually kept track of the missions you were doing and stuff. No, I, I found that very beneficial because I mean, at, at least you know that you've done this mission mm. rather than thinking that oh, have I done this mission? Mm. Have I missed it all? Yeah, and since you have to go forward in time, back in time, yeah. to sort of finish the game, it's good to keep. Yeah, you know, track, track of everything. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But I know that they're going to be changing a few things. I think mm. if I was 
if I was being honest, I think what they should do is get rid of while you're in a temple. Mm. I know they're not going to do this, but Just, get rid of the time. Yeah. Because I feel as though there's nothing worse than playing the level I'm and then and then you've got a time limit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not a fan of time limits, but I mean, I guess that's the case in some of them. You can slow down the time. Right, yeah, okay. And, and, you, and you have like three or four hours to finish a level. I mean, it's never going to take you that long. Yeah, yeah. But just true, the true. fact that when you enter the temple, is it's all reset. Oh, and, it's, uh, and you have to go through the yeah, process once again. I just wish that the temples themselves is mm. up until you finish it, it doesn't reset. Right, you right, know, it right. Just, every time you go in, the time stops, and every time you go in, it doesn't reset. If, if you get me, even yeah. if you go back in time, I think that would be a huge fix for the game, mm. and I think it would make the game a lot better. Yeah. But oh, yeah. The, oh, sorry. But I was going to say as well, um, do they still have their, uh, do we still have the prize uh, Horse, uh, Epona, yeah, is that, is that... Epona's done the game. Oh, good. You, you get Epona like halfway through the game, though. Right, I'm glad she's still there, because <laughs> I know, somehow, somehow my mind just kind of like erupted with that um, mm. horse, uh, and she, I know she, she, she was quite cool. Now, I have a strong <laughs> sort of connection with Majora's Mask, because... Oh, no, okay, explain, it, explain it, it launched in the UK, I believe, in 2000, in the right. year 2000. Okay. And... It was back when I moved to Spain, mm. and it was the first Christmas I had in Spain. And my, oh, right. this is quite nice and, to hear. Yeah, and somebody bought it for me <laughs> and sent it over, and uh, we actually we didn't get it on Christmas Day. Oh, okay. Um, we had to wait another week, so that oh. wait was just oh, just ter terrible. Yeah, but but that. we we eventually got the game just before we went back to school, and I remember me and my brother just playing it for a week solid and mm. just. Just got so invested in the game. Yeah, those but, are the days, though, right? When yeah, you well, just played games. Oh yeah, and you didn't have a care in the world. Oh no. And I, so I was about how old would I have been? I was nine. Oh, right, I was oh. nine. I was probably ten years old. Right, right. During because it was around my birthday. Yeah. Um, how 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 do you how do you find the game back then? Oh, I loved it. How how did I find it? Yeah, like like obviously the fact that it's being is going to be released on the three DS. Yeah. You know. Obviously, controls wise, you know, graphics wise, it's going to be much more advanced uh, on mm. the CDS. So, I mean, do, do, do you have any expectations of what you expect from it being released on the 3DS? Uh, well, I've been told that it's going to be running at 60 frames as opposed to 30 frames. So, it's okay. twice as fast as yeah, the no, Ocarina of Time on 3DS, plus it's going to be in 3D. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care much for the 3D, but they're releasing yeah. the new 3DSs. Okay. Which you've seen, yeah, and yeah. if you tilt the 3DSs, the new ones, right. uh, the 3D stays in focus because it uses the camera yeah, yeah. to sort of view your face, mm. and it's it works it out. I'm not sure how exactly. Right, yeah. It'll be with the the whatever inside, and well, uh, sounds quite interesting. So you're not going to lose that focus of the 3D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is probably going to launch in the UK at the same time as that 3DS. 3DS, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be a perfect blend. Truth. Truth. What uh, my expectations are for this game is, like I said, I've seen the footage. Is is it's going to be a lower pixel count than the sixty four counterpart? Right. But it's going to be a lot clearer. There's a bit more detail added, and like I say, just that sixty frames a second. Mm. Because the 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 sixty four game ran well, but the the iterations after they released it on the GameCube which was a bit of a bad port yeah like it ran slow like the frame rate were off and mm. and uh, yeah that weren't so good the Wii one was fine right but yeah, like yeah. I say it would be they're gonna be adding so much more to the game yeah, so yeah I suppose so I suppose so anyway I'll just play the the rest of the video see the oh. it's like he's from okay yeah yeah he gives us uh... got the Deku shrug. The music, I don't actually remember this music ever being in Majora's Mask. It's, it's mm. similar. Yeah. That, that part is. Oh, oh my gosh. We got some alien invasion going on there. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do suggest watching the trailer because it's. Uh, yeah, we'll, po we'll post the. Yeah, we post the link up on. Uh, yeah, we'll post the link up in the. Uh, yeah, in the comments. Yeah, I've yeah. just I've just paused it on um, 
school kid. That's basically the main antagonist of the game. Oh, an antagonist, right? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he's the the baddie, but he's yeah. not really a baddie. Okay, so he's not a villain then. He is and he isn't. Right. Now I don't really want to spoil things. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. actually quite early on in the game that you discover this, but yeah. basically, is um, he is in Ocarina of Time. Okay. Well, school kid is in Ocarina of Time. Right, right. And uh, mm. he comes across the mask, and the mask is what sort of turns him evil. Oh, I think I might have come across that mm. while playing Ocarina of Time. The thing is with him as well, he's quite lonely, so it's quite mm. melancholy. Mm. But there's a lot of theories behind Majora's Mask, like how always oh, does Link die, and then he's like trapped in poetry and stuff like oh, that. Oh, that one, that's good. That, interesting to yeah. hear. That, that makes you think a lot. Because there's a part in the game where you get these like statues right. of uh, you. You play this song and you get the statues. Oh. And there's a statue of the Deku that dies. Mm. There's the statue of um, the Goron that dies, does, yeah, and Zoro yeah. that dies, but there's also a statue of Link. Link? So yeah, it makes you so speculate then? It does make you speculate, and uh, obviously there's the thing about, oh, you've met a great fate, which is what the Happy Mask salesman says to you, which right, is, right. Hmm. you know, it's, it's very mysterious, but... I like that, I like that. You no, know, it, is, it is really cool, but in terms of the timeline, it is... Cause the Zelda franchise is just ridiculous. Like it has a crazy ass timeline, and there's like <laughs> yeah. split timelines. There's like three different timelines. Oh, okay. There's one main one, right, and yeah. then it breaks off into three. Right. Okay. And this is the one. There's one that splits off. You've got Ocarina of Time, then this splits off into one, and then you've got the Wind Waker one as well. So right, it's, okay. it's all really complicated. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Right, right. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's. We'll leave it at there.